so students previous day i have uh, teach you i have discuss that is mag electric heating effect e heating effect of electric current okay that is class 7 science okay now so heating effect that in which factor that amount of it depends i have discussed today today just watch it and in the next you can write so two things i want to discuss what is overloading what is overloading and short circuit overloading and short circuit okay these two things okay now i am taking the physics okay so what is overloading actually overloading it's a situation it is a situation where too many electrical device too many electrical device when they are connected in one socket okay then large amount of current large amount of current flows through flows through over it that electric wire okay so the large amount of electric current causes a large amount of heat and it it causes it causes the overloading okay it causes the overloading then the copper wire of the circuit at very high temperature and break it okay and it sometimes that overloading that overloading also create fire okay so when it occurs when too many appliances are connected in a single connect socket that time overloading can be heightened okay next what is source, short circuit in electric circuit electric circuit electric current is supplied in our, our household through the electric wiring there are two type of wire one is live wire and another is neutral wire when and that wire is insulated with the insulated or covered with the insulated material that uh, that through which current cannot pass okay when that live wire and neutral wire they get attached with each other then short circuit is occurred short circuit is it cause short circuit so when it cause when short circuit is occurred so when live wire and neutral wire are get attached are get attached to each other okay and uh, and also that's why we that's why we need a whenever we we cut the wire then after connection we need the tape just round it such that they cannot get each other that live wire and neutral wire get each other such that they can occur short circuit okay got it live wire and neutral wire if they attach if they attach each other then that is neck neck means that plastic weather everywhere is insulated with the plastic material plastic material or any other material when it removes and get attached that time short circuit is occur got it everyone that short circuit and electric uh, overloading again i have electric current is supplied by a householding by the insulating wire or live and neutral plastic okay when they get attached to each other then short circuit is occurred any doubt clear that overloading and short circuit that the two that's two point is clear all of you so can you hear me properly okay the two point one thing is clear the two point i have discussed okay now now today's in our household circuit we use mcb mcb what is mcb 
MCB means that full form of is miniature circuit breaker. Miniature circuit breaker. Miniature circuit breaker. The full form of the now it does not works on it does not works on the heating effect of electric current. It works on magnetic effect of electric current. Okay. Whenever whenever the safety that through the word safety limit of electric current safety limit of electric current is flowing through over the conductor then automatically that MCB switch off turn off okay then after turn on that MCB we get current from the circuit okay it disconnect the circuit if large amount of electric current flows over the electric wire electric conductor more than the safety limit then MCB get automatically get turn off after or turn on we can get we can uh, flow the electric current through the wire ok. So, MCB it, it is also clear now magnetic effect what is magnetic effect first of all students if the electric current if the electric current passes through passes through the wire then current conductor behaves like a magnet to yesterday i have discussed the what is the behavior behavior of magnet that is attraction and repulsion okay whenever electric current flows over whenever electric current flows over through a uh, through a wire it behaves like it behaves like a magnetic element sorry magnet that affects that it is acting like a magnet that effect is known as elect a magnetic effect of electric current magnetic effect of electric current ok. So, again I am discussing the magnetic wave if the electric current passes through a wire the current carrying conductor behave like a magnet this phenomena is known as electric magnetic effect of electric current got it everyone that magnetic effect of electric current yes or no. Yes, sir. Okay, Sanya, Nandini. Okay. Now, one thing, students, that that incident, that phenomena, first discovered by the scientist Oersted. Scientist Oersted. O R E S T E D. T E D. Sorry. O R E S T E D. Scientist Oersted. Okay. Uh, by keeping a compass needle, that is um, compass needle. He did the experiment and discovered that magnetic effect of electric current. Okay, got it. Now, one thing, students. Next, so if I if that electric current push that to the conductor so it behaves like a behave like a electric electromagnet electric elect, uh, magnet okay that type of magnet that type of magnets are called electromagnet so what is electromagnet so listen it carefully it is a magnet be made by the electric current and electron mingle electromagnet works on the magnetic effect of electric current it is consist of a long coil long coil of insulated copper wire insulated copper wire and around the iron rod then two ends of the coil connected with the cell the that current which is which is passing through the coil produce a magnetic effect and that iron rods become a electromagnet ok. It means how to make how to make electric electromagnet a iron rod is here connected ok and that where that where it around like in this way ok. If you switch on that current if you connected that where with the battery then electric current passing through that iron rod iron rod then that iron rod becomes a becomes a electromagnet becomes a magnet and that type of magnet is called electromagnet ok and if you switch off if you disconnect that if you disconnect if you disconnect that circuit then the that magnetic effect is all um, automatically automatically removes 
okay that is the advantage when just you switch on the switch on the circuit then when it current electric current flows over it 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 change into electromagnet if switch off then it uh, it will it is that magnetic effect is automatically removed okay so that is electromagnet so electromagnet now one thing that uh, that stronger electromagnet in this that that magnet it change into a magnet now the strength of that magnet depends on two factors the strength of this magnet depends on the two factors first one is by two it is uh, the by increasing the amount of by increasing the amount of round of the coil okay if you if you increase that round of that copper wire through the insulin to through that over uh, iron rod then strength of the magnet strength of this magnet is increases and another point first point increasing the round of copper wire and second point second point is if the amount of amount of electric current amount of electric current is increased then automatically the strength of that electric uh, magnet increases okay now where we uses where we uses the electromagnet electromagnet where we use the electromagnet some points are that electric bell electric bell fan okay motor in this position in this uh, case we use electromagnet and when we want to separate when we to many elements are mixed magnetic effect and um, not which are which are not magnetic elements mixed in the in this time in this time if you want to if we want to separate that mixture separate that mixture we can we can use the electromagnet electromagnet okay the switch on the light that it behaves like a magnet that that time that magnetic element get attached with the with that rod with that rod okay now electric bell that is used okay next now permanent magnet what is the difference between what is the difference what is the advantage what is the advantage by using mag, uh, permanent magnet and temporary and electromagnet actually electromagnet is not the permanent magnet when you switch off the circuit then electromagnet is automatically abolished and permanent magnet is it never it never it lost its magnetic property that uh, that some sometimes we have seen that the in the speaker in the speaker of radio of any box that one black thing is there that is permanent magnet okay now what is the difference between electromagnet and permanent magnet in case of electromagnet whenever you get whenever whenever you want to get the magnetism that time not all the time when you want only that time you can use electromagnet it means you can control when you want when you do not want that time you can use the electromagnet but that time you cannot use the permanent magnet permanent magnet means all times it shows its magnetic effect magnetic property but permanent magnet if you want to switch off the switch off the circuit then permanent magnet property is lost and another point you can control the strength of the magnet you can control the strength of the magnet means if you want to more strong uh, strength of more strong magnet just you change the amount of electric current change the round of the electric current so automatically strength of the electric magnet automatic change but in case of permanent magnet it cannot be controlled by you okay it has a fixed proper fixed strength out of this you cannot increase its property increase its strength okay that is the that is the difference now electric bell actually electric bell in your syllabus electric bell is in your syllabus so i have i am requesting to all the students just read the construction read the principle of electro electro electric bell and must remember the electric bell works on electric bell works on the magnetic effect of electric current 
okay magnetic effect of electric current not heating effect of electric current that point is very much important for your exam and now now students i am going to discuss to mcq write it down quickly you have to answer no no need to write need later you will write it okay coil of wire contain in electrical heater coil of wire contain in electrical heater that are that is called option a component option b element option c circuit option d spring quickly answer coil of wire contain in electric heater option a co component option b element option c circuit option d spring which one is the correct answer quickly answer no 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 that that is that is called element that is called element okay no 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 not coil element electric heater got it everyone no 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 element mc mcb is another use and next question amount of heat which is produced in a wire depends on option a material option b length of the conductor option c breadth thickness of the conductor option d all of this all of this which one is the correct answer amount of heat produced in wire depends on material of the wire length of the wire thickness of the wire d all of this yes correct option all of this very good and next one which mark is required in electrical appliance which mark is required in electrical appliance a g m a r ag mark i s i f i c c i and k s k okay no no yes who answer it on thing yes on thing right answer that is i s i i s i mark is needed from the so students i end this class here next day i will again 